Hey everybody, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday on Wednesday this week. I apologize for not getting it done in time. I've had a little bit of a crazy schedule. I apologize. Um, today I want to delve in deeper into how to adjust your armhole if it's too low. Many times we talk about petiting the armhole or making it um, shorter in, in vertical length by doing an adjustment that cuts the pattern and overlaps the armhole area. If you do that, you also have to adjust the sleeve. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So this is a, a very common way to um, bring the armhole up or petite the armhole. You cut an L shape um, slash line like this through the center of the shoulder into the armhole, and then you slide it down the amount you need to shorten your armhole. What this effectively does is it picks up the base of the armhole, the amount that you've overlapped because um, it's shortening the length of the armhole here. So if you need to raise your armhole front and back, you need to do it in the front, and then you also need to do it in the back. So you can see I did the same adjustment here, front and back. Now here is what also happens when you petite your armhole like this. First of all, you're changing the slope of the shoulder a little bit because you can see here we have to true up this you know, this discrepancy now from sliding down the armhole, we have to true that up. And the way I true that up is I go from my original neckline, original shoulder edge, and then draw a new shoulder seam. So it changes the slope a little bit. And also, because we've shortened it here and here, we have to also shorten the sleeve cap. Okay, and this is a very easy thing to do. We basically slash across the sleeve pattern right above the armhole notches and you slide the cap down the amount of the adjustments you made in the armhole. So you can see here, I shortened my cap by the same amount. Now what happens if your armhole is too low so when you pick up your arms, your whole shirt is dragging along with you and you have the perfect amount of ease in your sleeve. So your sleeve fits great from the shoulder through the cap and you have um, enough ease in your bicep. What can happen when you do the adjustment this way and then you have to take ease out of the cap, that can make it tight. So I'm actually rolling around to telling you that this is a subscriber question, um, someone who's looking for how to raise the armhole without reducing the ease in the sleeve. So I wanna show you another way that you can raise your um, armhole without adjusting the sleeve at all. So in this example, what I'm gonna do here is I've got my front and back. Let's just start with the front. I'm gonna draw my front notch in right here. Okay, so if you were working with a, a pattern that was printed and ready to go, you'd have a front armhole notch right here. What I'm going to do is I am going to measure what that is from the notch to the underarm seam or the side seam edge here. And in this case, it's three inches. So from here to here is three inches. Okay. Now remember, we want to raise our armhole to make it, bring it closer to our, you know, into our arm so it's not hanging down too low. Um, but we don't want to change the measurement of the armhole. So I need to know what that measurement is. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend 
my side seam up the amount I need to raise my armhole. So in this case, I'm gonna raise it 3 eighths of an inch. Now, on a full size pattern, you can raise it more for what you need. But for this example, I'm gonna raise it 3 eighths. And then I'm also gonna draw a little horizontal guideline above it. So I'm making like a little T right here. The reason why I'm making a T is because I am going to dash in the new shape of my armhole or the base of my armhole that's gonna be higher. So basically I'm just gonna dash that in to my new height like this. But remember, we need to keep it the same measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure along my new base of my armhole to see where that three inches is. And I can see that my three inches extends past my original side seam edge an eighth of an inch. So I'm just gonna measure that like this and draw it in like this. Okay, so see what I've done here is I've added all of this height or I brought the armhole up this much Okay, but I've had to extend it out to here to maintain the measurement. So now this armhole is three eighths of an inch higher. I'm gonna do the same thing to the back. So I've got my back notch, let's say my back notch is right here. Again, I'm gonna measure that. And I'll just measure from the first dot. So here it's two and a half inches. So it's two and a half, and it can be whatever it is. Probably it would be a similar length front and back on a printed pattern, but just to give you the idea here, I've got two and a half inches. I'm going to raise my base of my armhole that same three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna raise that up like this, okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure to see where the two and a half inches is. Okay, so two and a half inches here, again, extends out an eighth of an inch past my original. So I can measure that eighth of an inch like this. All right, so you can see here that this is what I've added. And if I were to cut one of my side seams off here, I just wanna cut it off at the side seam. You can see, I'm gonna put these together. All right, so you just wanna make sure that you have a nice transition front to back. Okay, so I'm lining up the edges of my side seams just to make sure. You don't want it to, to be dipping in any way. You want it to come straight across. So if you need to, you know, just check that and make sure you have a nice front to back transition. I might wanna fill this in a little bit here. Okay. So you can see now we've raised the base of our armhole three eighths of an inch without adjusting or needing to adjust the sleeve. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little Fit Tip Tuesday on Wednesday. Um, join me this Friday for Fab Fit Friday. I'll be doing a project, but I'm also going to be announcing the start of a um, pattern drafting along. I'm going to show you how to draft your own basic bodice. So on Friday I'm going to give you a list of measurements you need to take on yourself that you'll need to draft your bodice and then the following Friday we will start that process. So I'm kind of excited about this because it's been a long time since I've done any drafting from scratch 
So I'm super excited to work on this. And then part two, I'm going to show you how to drape a basic bodice on your dress form. And I'll be using my ditto form for that. So I'm super excited about this sort of two-part um, draft and drape along to make a basic bodice. So I'm really hoping you'll join me for that. Um, I want to thank you if you are a new subscriber. I have gotten so many new subscribers this week and I just want to welcome you to my channel. And even if you are not a new subscriber, I want to remind everybody I love doing subscriber Q&A. So if you have any specific questions or comments about this technique or something else you're working on, be sure to post your questions because you may see it as an upcoming um, Fit Tip Tuesday. And if you like my t-shirt I'm wearing, this is my basic tee, and I actually scooped out the neckline on this version, but if you'd like to check that pattern out here, you can, you can click on it right um, at the end of the video, um, and then you can also check out my new YouTube merch shelf, which is kind of exciting. I'm slowly populating it with all of my PDF patterns and probably I'll add my printed patterns there too as well. So if you're watching this and you like to get right to what you're looking for quickly, you can click the store tab on my main menu on my, you know, homepage on my channel and you can see all the things I have right there and you can actually purchase them right there. I am super excited about that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you at on Friday at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for FabFit Friday. All right, so thanks so much, and have a lovely rest of your day.